Let's talk about Mac OS wallpapers. So if you come over to system preferences, which most people can find in their dock or their applications folder, as well as hitting command space and typing system preferences, you'll be able to come over to desktop and screensaver. Once you click here, you'll find a variety of different Apple dynamic desktop wallpapers, as well as a few light and dark desktop wallpapers and standard desktop pictures. Now from here, you can select any of these wallpapers and simply change your wallpaper straight from here. For example, right here we have the Monterey graphic and we can change this from dynamic, which will change based on the time of day. You can change it to light, so it always stays this way, or you can change it to dark and it will always stay this way. Now there are a few more things we can do from here. For example, if you look right here, I have a wallpapers folder with three different wallpapers that are created or downloaded. So to do that, you can come over to your web browser, head to unsplash.com or any high quality image site and look for a wallpaper that suits your needs. For example, let's say we like this one, we could click on it, hit the down arrow and download it in its original size. Once we download it, most likely it will put it in your downloads folder and you'll be able to open a new window or tab in Finder, go over to your documents folder and create a simple folder here by right clicking, hit new folder and type wallpapers. From here, you can open this folder, drag this file in there and if you're a little OCD like me, you can right click and hit clean up by name. From there, we can head back to system preferences and we can actually add this to our desktop wallpapers. So as you can see, we have this folder here to add a folder, hit the plus button, search where your wallpaper folder is saved, which we just saved in our documents folder. And then you'll be able to add your wallpapers there. From there, you can click on the wallpaper and change it right away. Now let's say you've just downloaded an image that theoretically is the right resolution, but it comes out vertical. You can open it up in preview by double clicking it and click on this button right here to rotate the image, hit save, and then you can close out of preview. And from there, as you can see now, it's a fully horizontal wallpaper. From this point, we can also just right click and hit set as wallpaper if you don't wanna go through the system preferences pane. But there's actually a better way to get unsplash wallpapers straight onto your desktop without having to do any of that work. You can come over to the app store and search for an app called unsplash wallpapers and essentially it describes exactly what it is right here. Beautiful images. Once you download and install that app, it will be placed up in your menu bar once you open it. So it looks something like this. You can click on unsplash wallpapers and then you can sort through all different types of wallpapers from unsplash. You can click on this right here and choose the different themes that you're interested in. You can also view the history of all of the wallpapers you've set in the past using Unsplash wallpapers. And in the preferences pane right here, you can choose to launch on startup and update on all screens and desktops. You can also have it change to update weekly and daily, just like in Apple system preferences. But for this instance, we'll just go over here and manually set an image. So to find a new image, all you have to do is click refresh until you find one that speaks to you. So let's say I like this image here. I can just go ahead and hit set as wallpaper. And if I really wanna make sure that I never lose this image, there's a simple download button right here that you can click and it will save it to your downloads folder. So from this point, we could take this and drag this into our documents into the wallpapers app that we just created. And then that will be available in system preferences anytime we wanna go back to it. So thank you all for watching this video. I hope you caught some simple quick tips on changing your macOS wallpaper. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more macOS tutorials like this. And we will see you all in the next video.